Hello everyone and welcome to edupediaworld.com. In today's class, we'll be continuing with the unit 1 of chapter 1 of the subject Fundamentals of Accounting and that was Meaning and Scope of Accounting. In the last class, we had covered the definition of accounting, the objectives of accounting and the procedure of accounting. And in today's class, we'll be further dealing with the functions of accounting, the subfields of accounting and the users of the accounting information. Further, we'll also get to know the basic accounting equation on which the whole subject of accounting is based. So let's start today's class with the first topic that is functions of accounting. What are the various functions of accounting? Functions of accounting. So these are the basic functions of accounting, the main functions of accounting, the main purpose for which accounting is done. Number one is measurement number two is forecasting then comes decision making comparison and evaluation control government regulation and taxation so these are the main functions of accounting let us just see each function in detail one by one measurement by accounting for various transactions we measure the performance of the business how our business is performing whether we are earning any profits or we are running into losses. Also, it helps us in determining the financial position of the business, whether the assets are enough to meet the liabilities or there are more liabilities than the assets. So these are the things which are measured through accounting. This is the main function of accounting, to measure the performance of the business, how the business is performing and what is the financial position of the business at a particular date. Number two is forecasting. Once we prepare the financial statements through accounting, we can forecast the future performance also based on those financial statements. The PL account and the balance sheet of the previous year will help us in forecasting or help us in predicting approximately, if not the actual thing but approximately we can predict that how our business is going to perform in the next year and the years to come. So accounting helps us in forecasting also and help us in knowing that how our business is going to perform in the coming years through the help of the financial statements prepared in the past. Number three is decision making. Obviously the financial statements which are provided to us through accounting after the various accounting is done the financial statements are prepared so these financial statements help us in making various decisions rational decisions through those financial statements we can make better decisions we know that how our business is performing what is the financial position so it helps us that is the internal users as well as the external users to make rational decisions. The internal users that is the management and the owners of the business can use these financial statements to decide what changes to make to the business so that they can earn better profits or if they are running in losses so what decisions and what changes they should make to bring back the business into profit. So the accounting procedure and the financial statements helps us in making rational decision the external as well as the internal users. In external users, we can say the customers, the employees, the investors, etc. Those people also use this accounting and the financial statements of any business to make various decisions regarding investing in the business or working with the, the employees will decide whether to work with a particular company or not based on the financial statements. Now comes comparison and evaluation. Through accounting, we can just compare the financial position of the business of previous year and the financial position of the business in this year. The financial statements prepared in the previous year and the financial statements prepared in this year. We can compare both of them and we can just evaluate that whether our business is flourishing or perishing. If the performance of this year is more better than the previous year, we can just say and interpret that our business is flourishing and if it is vice versa, that is the performance is decreasing, 
the performance has you know decreased from the previous year then we can say that our business is perishing so these accounting process and the financial statements helps us in comparing and evaluating whether our business is making progress or it is perishing that is it is going in a downward direction also if we have prepared some targets beforehand only and when we compare the original results through the financial statements from the targets and we get the difference that we haven't achieved the target so we can just jot down plans to meet the targets and we can make out decisions so that we can meet the desired targets so this helps us in comparison and evaluation comparison of past performance with this year performance and the comparison of the targets with the performance so it the accounting process and the financial statements helps us in comparison and evaluation of the business next comes control when we prepare financial statements and when we do the accounting at the end we get to know that where our business is standing what are the weakness of the operational systems of our business and how we can make our business more effective what are the measures that should be adopted to get rid of those weaknesses so all these can be done only if we get to know the results at the end of the year and those results can only be obtained through the process of accounting so accounting helps us in controlling the various weaknesses and loopholes in our business so that our business can flourish and make more profits so accounting helps us in controlling the weaknesses of our business and adopting measures to check those weaknesses and lastly comes government regulation and taxation accounting provides various information to the government to exercise control on the entity and it also helps the government to collect the tax revenues from the businesses until and unless a business accounts for its income expenses assets and liabilities it will become very difficult for the government to collect tax revenues from them so accounting is very helpful for the government to exercise control on the entity and to collect the tax revenues so these are the main functions of accounting hope you have understood them let us just revise them once again what are they measurement forecasting decision making comparison and evaluation control government regulation and taxation so these are the main functions of accounting next comes the subfields of accounting these are the various subfields of accounting in this particular subject we are going to deal with only one subfield of accounting that is financial accounting we are just going to deal with the assets liabilities income expenses transactions events etc which are related to the financial accounting apart from that there are other subfields also of accounting you just need to know them by name in the cpt level of the ca curriculum you will get to study them in detail in the coming stages of the ca curriculum that is in ipcc and final so for cpt level you just need to know the names that what are the various subfields of accounting you can get one mcq that is multiple choice question on this and nothing else so you just need to remember this what are the subfields of accounting financial accounting that we are going to deal with in the subject of fundamentals of accounting management accounting cost accounting social responsibility accounting and human resource accounting these are the other subfields of accounting which you are going to study in detail in the ipcc and final level of the ca curriculum so for now you just need to remember that what are the various subfields of accounting financial management cost social responsibility and human resource accounting next comes the various users of the accounting information who uses the accounting information generated by accounting for the various transactions and events the list given here are the various users of the accounting information investors employees lenders suppliers customers government and the public at large so now let us see how these users uses the accounting information one by one first of all let us start with investors how the investors uses the 
accounting information investors are the people who provide capital to the business so they need the accounting information to assess whether to buy to hold or to sell their investment that is whether to invest in the business or not or if they have invested whether to take out their investment from the business or not and for these decisions the investors require the accounting information through the accounting information they take various decisions of whether to invest in the business or not and if the business is running into losses if the accounting information depicts that the business is not having a sound financial position then the investors will take out their investment from the business so the accounting information is important from the investors perspective which help them to take the decisions of whether to invest or not also the accounting information helps the investor to assess that where the business is going whether the business will prosper or perish in the future to come so the accounting information serves this purpose for the investors in a non corporate sector where the owners are only the investors of the business they also require the accounting information to assess the performance of the business and its financial position so as to decide whether to continue the business or to shut down if the business is continuously incurring losses then they'll definitely shut down the business and if the business is earning profits then they'll continue the business so this way the accounting information helps the investors and the owners secondly comes the employees the employees are also interested in the financial statements and accounting information of any organization so that they can judge whether to work into this particular organization or not if the organization is having a sound financial position and very good results they are producing then definitely all the employees will try to get connected with those organizations and moreover they are interested to know the stability continuity and growth of the enterprise so that they can judge whether the organization can provide them with the required remuneration and other benefits so these are the reasons why the employees require the accounting information and this way they use the accounting information next comes the lenders obviously you can make out that why the lenders require the accounting information the lenders are interested in knowing the financial position of any business to know whether to lend any sum of money to the business or not or if they have already lent to know whether the business will be able to pay back the principal amount and the interest amount as and when due so the lenders are in need of the accounting information due to these reasons number 1 whether to lend them or not and number 2 if they have already lent whether the business will be able to pay back them the principal amount and the interest amount these decisions can only be made if the lenders are provided with the accounting information of the business next comes the suppliers and the creditors the suppliers and creditors are also the ones who falls in the categories of lenders because they have supplied us the raw material or the things on credit so it is in a way lending only without charging us the money at the time of taking they have supplied us the raw material and the required things on credit so they will obviously require the accounting information to decide whether to supply us the raw materials on credit or not and to decide the credit policy that how much time should be given to us to pay back the due amount to them so all this information is provided through the accounting information if we are having a favorable financial position and we are producing good results which is reflected in our accounting information then definitely the suppliers and the creditors will be more inclined to give us good credit policy and give us good period of time to pay back but if we are having a bad financial position and not producing good results then they will also not supply us with the raw materials on credit and they will apply a very stringent credit policy to us and give us very less time to pay back and also they'll charge us high rates of interest if we are unable to pay back the money to them on time so the suppliers and creditors uses the accounting information to decide the credit policy now next comes in line in the users of accounting information customers 
the customers are also required to know the financial position of the enterprise because they are dealing with the enterprise on a regular basis they are consuming the organization services or goods and if the financial position and the results produced by any organization are not favorable then the customers will be afraid that their business or their needs will suffer because if the company is having a very bad financial position and it is assumed that the business will not flourish in the near future and is going to shut down then the persons who are going to suffer the most are the customers because they are dependent on the company's supply of services and goods and if they are not given the required things and services on time and they are going to suffer and they are going to have trouble so that is why the customers uses the accounting information to judge whether the organization is stable or not and whether they will be able to provide the supply of goods or services regularly or not to the customers now comes the government and their agencies the government requires the accounting information to have a control over the business as we studied in the functions of accounting in that we had seen that it was government regulation and taxation so the government requires accounting information impose taxes and duties on the businesses and to increase the revenue of the government so this is how the accounting information is used by the government and their agencies to know the position of the business and accordingly charge them taxes and duties and lastly comes the public at large because public is interested in knowing the financial position of the enterprise because the business affects the economy in many ways the company may be employing so many employees and the company may be supplying things to so many customers so in this way the public at large is affected so the public at large is interested in knowing the financial position and the functioning of the enterprise through the accounting information so these are the people who are the users of the accounting information the owners that is the investors employees lenders suppliers and creditors customers government and the agencies and the public at large so these are the various users of the accounting information